I'm Johnny from Expo Boxing. Right now I'm gonna show you guys a video request. Somebody asked me to, 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 to show a, a leaping left hook, or a leaping left hook, like the jumping into it, or like a gazelle punch. Yes, I can show you, and, and this is what uh, this is how we break it down. So first off, left hook, typical like this, we turn away, right? And the energy is a little bit of a pivot. Bam! For a leaping left hook or a, or a jumping swing or all that, the energy is not like this. Okay, I, I, the hand may come from the side, but for me the energy is more forward. So it comes like this. Okay, so if you guys can see it, it's almost like the glove is here and then comes forward. It's something like that. It's less of a turn. Although some fighters do turn with it as well. So I've seen Mike Tyson kind of do jumping, swinging hook. So there's a wide range of, of what it is and isn't, okay? So no arguments here, we're just gonna try to show different variations of it. So first off, to do a jumping hook, you just gotta rely on the, the it's not the element of speed and surprise, it's just the, the, the faint. They feel like they're getting hit by a right hand. Whoosh, okay, so I'll let you feel it. Here's right hand. Whoosh. Okay, and again, you gotta make him feel like you're jumping in with the right hand. Because if he feels the right hand jumping in, then he kind of does this, right? They put their guard forward a little bit. They do something like that, and then, by now, you're set, boom, you rip a big hook to the face, and down they go. Now, for when you do a jumping hook, it's kind of like you set your feet and turn and crank. Now, with a leaping hook, a leaping swing, or a gazelle punch, or whatever, however you want to call it, I feel like these, you load the energy in your legs and your back, and then you do something like that, okay? So I'll try to show you from here. I load my energy in my back, I pop up, and I, I do something like that. Here, boom, okay? Here, boom. Okay, so it's something like that. It's not that I try to turn away, I try to face him the whole time. And whoosh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I load it like this, and you know, a lot of times, uh, more square. So I would think of it like that, more square, more square, I duck low, I bait the, the shot going down, maybe he throws a right hand going down, maybe he jabs down, I fly up, boom, and I knock him out. So, uh, you know, be careful, it's a little bit of a setup punch. Or sometimes you're just feeling crazy, like those MMA guys at the beginning of the fight, they go running across the ring and throw a front flying knee. Okay, if you want, sure. Right? Off a of slip, you can kind of do it. Off a of slip, boom and chain it together that way. I'm John from Expo Boxing. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great boxing tips. Also check out my website, expoboxing.com. Thanks for watching. Guys, I forgot to mention this note uh, for the, uh, the gazelle punch. Guys, the extra detail is the head. So I wanna say something, that when you throw a left hook, your head t tends to turn, okay? But when you throw that gazelle punch, I want your head to go forward. So, like that, yes, straight forward. Boom, okay? So I wanna make that key detail. One way to know that it's a gazelle punch is that you're coming forward him. You could even go past him even, you know, or over him. So, okay, so from here, from here, boom, and I come forward, I'm, I'm not uh, like this, okay? And if you even wanna go past him over here, that's totally fine as well.